freshman year was unbelievable. Freshman year really stood out, but you know, every year I, I, I never took anything for granted. My first year uh, in the NCAA tournament was an unbelievable experience. Dominic James, born October 5th, 1986. Today's feature is all about being ready to seize the opportunity when that door opens for one brief moment that could very well be the last. Dominic James in 2005-2006 was the best freshman in one of the toughest conference in the Big East and one of the most promising players in the country as just a freshman in college. He came in and immediately his uniqueness started to shine through. He was 5'11", but insanely athletic, to the point in Marquette's offense, he was usually called on for alley-oop plays that would set the gym on fire. On a team with three future NBA players, he was the team's second best player and second leading scorer, ahead of Jarrell McNeil and Wesley Matthews, who played 14 years in the league and is still active. James would go on to have a Marquette Hall of Fame career and be one of the faces of college basketball because of his exciting play for a guy his size and polarizing image on a team that was in search of their next superstar post Dwayne Wade. In his college career, his name went from promising young talent with a bright future most likely in the NBA to year after year being more and more disappointing to by the end of his amateur play it was all clear he didn't have what it took to transition to the league. Needless to say, he went undrafted in 2009 and never got that opportunity to play in the NBA ever again. From time to time, you see this happen to a player that had all the talent and potential and it helps you understand how fleeting those moments of amateur greatness are. Making it to the NBA is not promised at any point before you actually get there, but for the most part, if you have the talent and have put in the work, you will most likely at least get a shot. Whether you make or miss that shot all depends on how you've played the game thus far. Who politics does exist, it is like a game within a game of who can position themselves the best way to be right in front of that door once it opens again. At some point, you will have to move past that door for whatever reason, whether it be age, injury, or some other unfortunate occurrence and try your hand at others in the journey of life. After all, of the nearly 2,000 players in Division I college basketball, overseas prospects, and now G League players each year, only 60 are chosen by an NBA team in the draft, and a lot of those later picks often never play a game in the NBA. It's not always talent that separates them, but again, who positioned themselves the best and seized the opportunity when it arose. Dominic James was a standout player in the mid-2000s that had his share of opportunities, but never got to the NBA. Here are three reasons why. Salute to my man Kenny Bond on IG for this request. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Dominic James was a 5'11 point guard from Richmond, Indiana that was a star for Richmond High School. In 2005, he was the state's leading scorer at 31 points a game, Indiana Basketball News Player of the Year, and runner-up behind Luke Zeller as Indiana's Mr. Basketball. He also averaged 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals as a senior, being ranked 31 overall before choosing Marquette. The program lost Dwayne Wade to the draft two years earlier and missed the tournament two straight years behind Travis Diener and Steve Novak's leadership, looking for another superstar to build around going forward. James stepped in and had a freshman year that promised the Golden Eagles had found their guy. Stunt number one, not taking the risk. One of the toughest but most important decisions along the NBA journey is knowing when is the right time to risk it all on your talent and belief in yourself and leave school to turn pro. For one, a player like James was not expecting the success he had early on. To come right in at Marquette behind the recent history of that school, the team's leader at his position and have the freshman year he had had to have even surprised him. He played and started all 31 games, playing 32 minutes a game, averaging 15.3 points, 5.4 assists, and 4.5 rebounds. 
Marquette made the tournament for the first time since Dwayne Wade left, behind James being the team's second leading scorer. He was named the Big East Rookie of the Year, leading all rookies in points and assists, breaking Doc Rivers' 25-year-old scoring record. It was unexpected, but the numbers were on the board at that point, and James still had youth on his side that creates the illusion of potential and gives a prospect just enough intrigue for one team to take him anywhere from mid-first round to at least before all the names are called. Finishing his freshman year in 2006, the one-and-done prospect wasn't the popular route to take as yet, even though Carmelo Anthony did it in 2003. But I would say not till around 2008 did that become a thing, so I could understand a guy like Dominic James leaning more toward coming back to school. In this era, he would have left immediately. In hindsight, after the year he had and excitement he brought to the table with his polarizing image and stature, I'm certain mixed with youth, one team would have taken the chance. Instead, he came back to school for a second year and had the dreaded sophomore slump no prospect wants, where all his numbers fell while he played more minutes. He was a preseason All-American and Conference Player of the Year. He was expected to take Marquette and himself to the next level, but now without the allure of young freshmen tailing his name, he exposed himself as inadequate in a few areas and it tanked his draft stock. Stunt number two, his jump shot. One of the areas James was exposed was his ability to knock down deep shots at his position, level of competition, and especially at his height. One of the last things you want to be is a guard that can't shoot, even in his era where the game was changing into the big athletic point guard, right before quickly transitioning into more of a shooter's league a few years after James's time at Marquette. As a freshman, he shot 30% from three, which is well below where a guard prospect is expected to be leaving college with a closer line and less sophisticated defenses and defenders. The only thing that could trump that is coming back for a second year and shooting even worse. Well, you guessed it, 27% from three as a sophomore, which is abysmal, taking a career high 5.4 a game as well as a second terrible year from the foul line, even though James says he worked on his shooting all offseason, but it just didn't translate. He'd attempt his chance at the NBA draft after year two, those numbers, and at the pre-draft combine, wasn't able to show much improvement, leaving him with no interest at the end of it, and an obvious reality that he would have to come back to school. With a little better shooting, at least more than as a freshman, and a much better number next to his shooting percentages, James would have most likely stayed in the 2007 NBA Draft and find himself at least a second round pick. Stunt number three, no improvement. With two strikes against him, not leaving to seize the opportunity after his freshman year, then having an even worse year as a sophomore, Dominic compounded that by completing his four years having a worse year than he did before each time. Every year, it gets harder and harder on a prospect on the borderline of getting to the NBA. For a guy to have stayed three years in college in the days James was in, said a lot about him not being ready. When you look at his production over that time, then you see why it took all of his eligibility and still he went undrafted. He never improved. James's freshman year would remain his best year and mark the last time he had a real chance at being selected. He broke many longevity records from points to steals, assists, and games played and was named a Marquette Hall of Famer when it was all said and done. But his jump shot never improved from three. He never really realized he wasn't a good shooter since he took no less than four threes a game over his career and his field goal and free throw percentages were also discouraging and none of this led to the team being any better than a second round exit in his years. All in all, Dominic James was a nice player early on that maybe should have taken the opportunity he had after his freshman year to leave for the NBA. Course hindsight is 2020. He had a chance with the Bucks Summer League team in 2009, 
but suffered an injury that removed him from the team early. He then traveled the world playing professionally as he never got the call for the NBA. Salute, much respect, but for these reasons, Dominic James's growth was stunted. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth, and I'm out.